Get in YouTube. Your man George Page comes to you live, live on YouTube. Anyway, I was out today. I was doing a little um, shopping, you know, just pick a little few things. I went to stop by my local convenience station, and I saw this beside the register. Now, personally, I don't smoke. I never had a, t you know, I, I don't have no use for tobacco. But I know many people who are who do, and um, my family, we have working tobacco because tobacco fed our, you know, put food on our tables when we're coming up. But this law is crazy. As you know, originally, I, I was coming up in like the, in the um, early 80s. Back in the day, kids can go to, I used to remember my sisters would send me, or my brother would send me, my sister would send me go into the store to get them cigarettes. You know, or my mom might say, get some tobacco for the chew, or snuff. You know, if, if they know your face, hey, they can give it to you, sell it to you. Hey, you have the money to sell it. But, you know, a few, you know, like over almost 30 years ago, they changed the law where you have to be 18 to smoke. But now, you have to be 21. <laughs> what the hell? You know, it's, it's, hard, you know, it's hard enough to be 18 where they tell you, oh, you're, you're technically you're a legal adult. But still, you, know, you can't drink. Now you can't smoke. You know, you, you know, you can go to join your army, get killed overseas, but, you know, you come back like Chris Roxy, you come back a, a no-leg teenager, and you can't even get, a, get yourself a beer. But, it's, you know, to me, it doesn't affect me, but this is the reason why this law changed. This, it started, the law was changed the day of the first, as you know, you see the, uh, on the, the, uh, the date on the register. And um, they changed the law because of what was, what was going on. This instance where involved vaping. A lot of um, young people who vape, because it's an alternative to cigarettes, um, have issues. They have gotten sick, some have died, and even in some cases, the, the vaping um, 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 machine, the, the vaping um, uh, uh, device has blown up by some people. But the thing is, you know, you're not gonna stop teenagers from not wanting to smoke or, or stop wanting to drink. You know, we put that temptation in front of them, you're not gonna stop them. You're not gonna get them a store, but you can always send somebody to get them for them. You know, or to get a friend you know, who, who drinks or smokes and they can buy it. I mean, it's just no real sense. You, now you got a bunch of teenagers who just, you know, some of them, oh, I'm going to turn 18, I'm going to get myself a first cigarette. And now they can't buy a cigarette to, to another three more years. <sighs> just because of what's happening now with the vaping situation, this is where this come out from. Now you want to punish kids who, who want an opportunity to, to smoke legally. But now you have to wait three more years, just as long as, you know, they can, you know. But, you know, that's a good thing you think about it. You know, they can smoke and drink at the same time, you know, but you're not going to stop them. Teenagers are going to do what they're going to do. You know, they, I, I remember when we were younger, me and my brothers would, would sneak cigarettes from my sisters, you know, and smoke them in, in, out in the backyard someplace, you know, try to be like grownups. And that's the thing what kids do, they emulate the grownups around them. You know, I don't smoke, but I know my brother does and some of my nephews does. And my mom, she used to chew tobacco, but she had to stop after she got sick. But um, I know plenty of people do it. Now me, I don't have no need for it. But hey, living in North Carolina, especially in the South, where tobacco is a, is pretty much a cash crop here, people have fed their families off of tobacco. People have sent their children to school off of tobacco. And, you know, it's just a thing that's uh, exists. Where my mother stays at her apartments, they you can't smoke inside the apartments anymore. But still, people still smoke. You can't stop that. You know, it's a, it's an ugly, nasty habit. But you know, you can't stop it. Like you know, like we're drinking. You know, maybe you should raise your arms to drink at 25. But the thing is, they're not going to do that. You know, we talk about, you know, how, co how um, not cocaine, I mean, how marijuana has become a big cash crop now. And they want to change the laws on that. You know, just recently I heard the news that Illinois, one of the states, is now legalizing the sale of marijuana. You know, but um, you can't stop that. You know, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, most of the southern states, as we know, the Bible Belt, they're going to drag their feet on it. But more of the, you know, states out west, states up north and the Midwest, they'll jump on because there's a big cash cow when it comes to marijuana. But anyway, you know, here's the truth is, 21, 18, hey, kids are going to smoke and they're going to drink. So why, you know, try to, you know, make it difficult for them? You're not. <laughs> they're always going to say to somebody, hey, you know what, they got an uncle, a cousin, a friend, somebody who's older and who, who, who don't mind, yeah, hey, share a, a cigarette with them. They go to the store and buy it for them, no problem. It don't make no sense, you know. And you know, y'all can y'all can think who? Your president. Because it didn't happen on Obama. <laughs> he could have made the law where he was 21, but he didn't. It's, he knows that, you know, you have the right to do as you do as a human being. Well, this is your man George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like. Don't subscribe. I'm out.